So we're going to continue to shape our model. So in this video, I'm going to mainly just shape the model, just to try to make it look like the like the concept. But I'm also going to show you how to start to create the hands, how to create the hands and also the feet. So the first part, I'm just going to continue to model, I mean to shape. And then in the second half, I'm going to show you how to actually model the hands and the feet. So there will be some silence from here on to the second half. So we want to go ahead and start to create the hands. So first I want to, I want to move and enlarge the area here for the hand. So I'm going to double click on my move tool. I'm going to switch to, let's see which one works best. I think normal's average works better just so I can get the handle where I want it to be so I can move the 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 faces on that direction I just want to get the proportionally according to the to the concept I'm going to edit mesh insert edge loop tool I'm going to insert that edge there scale that up I'm also going to switch. So in this case, my normal average doesn't really get me the the handles what I want them to be. So I'm going to click where it says set to edge, and I'm going to click on that edge. And I'm going to scale these faces just to flatten the faces. Go to edit mesh, insert another edge loop, maybe one right here. Now let me go to face mode. I'm going to flatten the side as well. And that as well. Alright, I'm going to select these two faces. And I'm going to edit mesh, extrude. And I'm just going to press W and move the faces to the side. I'm going to click those two faces, press G to extrude, then W and just move those faces. I just want to flatten this area. I prefer to flatten it, it feels better for me, it makes it easier to work with. And we're making this so that we can get the faces that we're going to use so that we can extrude the fingers. All right. I'm going to insert another edge loop. 
here in the middle and now we can go ahead and go ahead and extrude the fingers you can extrude one by one but I'm going to select them all I'm going to edit mesh and I'm going to disable where it says keep faces together and I'm going to extrude I'll click the little square and scale those down right now we're just keeping it really basic extrude with G going to press G one more time to extrude the tip of the fingers as I said right now it's really basic later we're going to come back and make sure that mm, make, making sure that our fingers look like fingers but right now we're in the really basic stages so I'm just going to move some of the faces here just to make the fingers more straight I just want to make sure that the the size of the fingers is actually more correct for real fingers so obviously the pinky should be a little far and smaller I'm going to press 3 just to make sure just to see what it looks like And obviously it will help if you had some reference as to like the size of the fingers making sure that they look like real fingers in terms of the proportions so we'll come back to the fingers and make sure that they look better later since right now we don't have too much geometry to work with Now I'm going to face mode and I'm going to select this face make sure it's that face and go to edit mesh I'll make sure keep faces together is enabled and extrude I'm going to extrude one more time right now we're just gonna keep it really basic and then we'll come back make sure that it looks better so right now it looks really blocky so I'm going to select that edge loop I'm going to edit mesh delete edge vertex I'm going to do the same with this one I'm going to press G 
and this one I'm going to press G now for this one I'm going to select that edge I'm going to edit mesh spin edge forward I'm going to press G one more time okay I'm going to select those two edges go to edit mesh delete edge vertex just so that we can have cleaner geometry there I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to edit mesh spin edge forward one more time okay one more time okay see that we have that triangle there we want to get rid of it but we have another triangle right here so I'm going to use the same thing I'm going to press G okay I'm going to press G now and see that we have those two triangles now they're meeting each other and we're going to set that edge loop and go to edit match delete edge vertex and so now we have a cleaner edge flow for our model and what we have to do is continue to shape just to make sure that it looks better alright so now we want to get to the feet so I'm going to go down there let's go to face mode and I'm going to select the faces on the bottom all four faces go to scale actually let me change my scale to whirl and scale that so that it, it is flat I'll use my front view just to make sure that I have it as flat as I can there you go So I'm going to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. I'm going to insert an edge loop here. And I'm going to select these two faces. I'm going to edit mesh, extrude. I'm going to use W and move those forward. And now I'll continue to shape. Let me change my move tool to world. And we'll just continue to shape for now and the next time we're going to continue to develop the character so that it looks more like the actual concept